Hello everybody, this is Mr. Brackett with an informational video uh, on internet speed and internet use. Uh, there are a couple things I want to show you, especially if you feel like your internet speed here in the school district is slow uh, or lagging. Um, here are some steps for you to try. Uh, the very first thing to try would be to press uh, the Windows button and R on your keyboard. What this should open is a dialog just like this. It's called the Run dialog. Uh, and that's the Windows key and R on your keyboard at the same time. Then you're going to type CMD. And it's going to give you this, which is a command prompt. And in the command prompt, um, the first thing you want to try is this command. It's called ping, P-I-N-G. Uh, and you want to try to ping um, known websites. For example, 8.8.8.8 is a known internet website hosted by Amazon. Um, it is constantly online, um, so it's one that I like to ping often. Um, and here's what you'll end up getting. You'll get a number of lines from this. Uh, and the most important thing to notice in these replies, I've got four replies from the ping. The most important thing to notice is this, the time uh, for each of those. Uh, time here, 11, 16, 12, and then 11 again. Um, what this means is uh, milliseconds. Uh, it took 11 milliseconds for my computer to reach out to the Amazon server and get a response. Uh, here it took 16 milliseconds. Uh, and remember, a millisecond is a thousandth of a second. So it took 11 one thousandths of a second for my computer to reach out to uh, this Amazon server and get a response. That's pretty decent speed. 11 milliseconds, 12 milliseconds, those are pretty decent speeds. Um, if you saw something here that was outrageous, like in the hundreds of milliseconds, then you might have an internet problem, a speed problem, that's uh, something that needs to be addressed. Uh, but a lot of times, if you're in your browser, you're doing stuff, and you're thinking, man, this is really slow, I wish it was faster, uh, run your command prompt, do a ping, to 8.8.8.8 or msn.com I could ping msn.com and what we'll end up getting from that is a series of replies now here you see uh, the request times out uh, that means there might be um, problems with my speed uh, it also means there might be problems with the msn.com server so then I can try a different server, like maybe I'll ping Yahoo. Notice here I'm pinging Yahoo, uh, time 95 milliseconds, 103 milliseconds. Um, I could try pinging, um, you know, I could try uh, different websites, you know, whatever you think, whatever comes to mind. I always like to do 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8, uh, because then I get this is a known number for me. I know that this number should be a certain speed. And if it isn't uh, right around this area, then I start to get a little bit concerned. The other quick thing you can do in an internet browser, open a tab and go to fast.com. Uh, fast.com is a website that will measure your internet speed from whatever browser you have open. Uh, here you see that fast.com has measured my internet speed at 56 uh, megabytes per second. Now, 56 megabytes per second, it's a pretty decent speed here in the Eau Claire Public School District. Um, this is a pretty decent speed. Uh, if you saw something low, like in the uh, uh, teens, uh, like you know, 16 megabytes per second, something lower than that, then you're starting to get concerned about your speed. Um, our fastest computers here in the school district, they will register speeds in the hundreds of megabytes per second. Um, so if you end up with something like this, 56 is a really good speed. Um, 
but still that might not tell you enough um, especially if you got a low number like in the teens and you ran a ping from the command prompt and you said ping and imagine this ends up being really high uh, then you switch over here and this ends up being really low then you're wondering you know is there really something wrong um, the thing to do next would be go down here to your taskbar in Windows 10 and right click uh, you'll get this menu choose task manager uh, the task manager will launch um, and you want to click on performance uh, and then down here on the open uh, resource monitor what this opens is this little window called the resource monitor and you see over here a bunch of cool little graphs that might be fun to look at but they don't really offer you very much practical uh, information uh, what you really want to look at is not CPU not disk um, but network and so you see here uh, this is network input and output and percentage of network utilization and you can sort these by um, sending uh, in bits per second, receiving in bits per second, um, or you know what I like to do is total in bits per second. Uh, what this is going to give you is a list of different uh, pieces of software that are running on your computer that are using um, internet, your network connection. Uh, here you can see that my top consumer of network um, network bandwidth is uh, this program called Contacam which is actually a camera software that I use for monitoring uh, camera feeds in the district same thing with these GV Edge recordings you're not going to see those because those are camera software uh, but you see here my top one two three four five six seven. my top seven or eight um, pieces of software using network bandwidth are uh, not even reaching out to the internet they're just running on our inside network if you go down here to Chrome which is obviously my browser you can see that it's got a total use 264 bits per second now that number 264 might seem big but it is not 264 bits is not even a, a quarter of a megabyte so my Chrome browser right now is not using a bunch of internet now you'll see that there's multiple versions this version this version this version see how they're jumping around because I have it sorted by total use uh, some of those numbers go up and down if I sorted by the name of the program you see here I've got two three four you know whatever however many versions but even if I added all those up you know you end up with maybe a couple megabytes uh, per second of use um, even though you can see my browser back here I've got three six nine twelve I've got fifteen or sixteen browser tabs open but when I look at my resource monitor I see that it's really not that much uh, bandwidth use uh, as far as Chrome goes so in my mind it's not a killer um, because again it's not using that much if I wanted to try to speed up my internet connection I would be best served getting rid of these top ones if you know what they are when you see them if they make sense to you then you could just close those things and see whether or not you get an increased uh, network connection speed um, from shutting down those pieces of software uh, so let's say I'm in the resource monitor uh, I'm seeing that I've got some stuff running and it's taking up a lot of bandwidth maybe I get out and shut some of that stuff down then I run uh, fast.com again to see if my speed increases maybe it goes up I would expect that it would if you're shutting down stuff that's using uh, your network connection so I know that was kind of long but um, 
hopefully this helps. Thanks a bunch.